Hello friends, welcome back. Need to communicate between components and Angular? Learn how to use the input and the output to pass data and trigger events seamlessly between parent and child components. Perfect for building interactive features like a course review form. So come with a delay, let's get started. So this is the website that we were building as an online course enrollment application and this is made of Angular 18 with all of the latest and greatest features. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you a feature or a concept which is called interacting between two components, a parent and a child. How that is going to happen in a real time. That is what we're going to see. So if I go to any of the course, for example, if I go to any of this course, it shows there are three reviews and there is zero review here. So what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at how this looks. You see this, there are three reviews that was there for this particular course. So that is shown here. But at the same time, you have a, you have an option to review it. So as long as you are logged in, this button should be get enabled. So I can review it here. For example, I'm going to, so for example, I'm going to review it like this and probably I'll say four star. Okay, I'm gonna submit. Review got submitted. The review came here. You see this, now there are four reviews and I can also give you all of the stars. So this is the main component, which is called parent component where we display the course details and there's a child component called submit your review. So how this component is communicating with the parent and vice versa. That is what we are going to take a look in this video. Now let's jump on to the coding. So the complete repository code is available in github.com slash learn smart coding and you can come and search as online course UI. So this repository will have every single piece of code that is deployed in the website exactly the same thing. Okay, I've given you the complete code. So don't worry about the code here. Okay. All right, so I have opened up the code here. What we are going to do is we are going to already. So we what we are going to do is this under the course, there is a component called review form. OK, currently the review form component doesn't have anything. It has nothing to do with it. OK, so we are going to build it from the scratch. So in this review form, what we are going to build is we are going to build a very small form using reactive form modules. OK, so what we have to do for that first, we need to have the reactive forms imported. So under import, we have common module forms module and reactive form modules. OK, so let's go one by one. First thing first, we need to have a variable and we are going to name this as review form that is of type form group. So next we will declare two more variables, which is a maximum rating and the minimum rating. I would say the initial rating is zero. The maximum rating that they can do is five. Okay. Now we will inject two servers in the constructor. So how do we do constructor? First service is the form builder. Second service is the login service. This is just to check whether the person is logged in or not, or even to get the user ID of the person who logged in. Okay, so that's the idea. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to assign another variable called is logged in to find out whether the person is logged in or not. And currently it is set to false. So next is we will implement the lifecycle hook, which is implements on in it okay so the moment you do we need to implement the ng on in it so i'm going to do that here okay so in ng on in it what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for the service dot is login and then assign it the value of it next we have the review form we are creating a form group that has just two controls one is the rating one is the comment okay so the rating default is five and then comment is at least 10 characters are required and it is a required one and initial value was empty string. OK, so once we have that, what we are going to do, we are going to do one thing. First, let's build a form. So I'm going to build a form again. We have seen this reactive models uh, in many videos. So our idea is not about reactive form in this video, but I'm going to teach you one important concept called input and output. Now, what I did is I actually copy pasted 
a reactive form basically a form a form group is our form group on ng submit we are going to call this on on submit method which is not there we will write it but other than that all of these things are simple form we have a select box to get the ratings and we have the comment section and finally a button okay so the button will have submit review or sign into submit review based on the user is logged in or not okay so that's the idea if not the button will be disabled now this is not what we are trying to learn in this video so what we are going to do is we are going to learn something important which is input and output so let's bring up the method called ng let's bring up the method called on submit okay now here is the thing what we are going to do is we are going to so this is the child component the child component is expecting some input from the parent component because in the parent component course details are loaded so what we are going to do is we are going to decorate um input decorator you see this input and then you will say course id which is of type number okay similarly we will have input of type user id and then this is also of type number okay again this is just an example so any variable that you define in front of that if you put input this will become an input to this component okay so a parent can pass some information to a child component by using a variable that is declared as input okay similarly okay so we have declared the input now what we are going to do is we are going to go and use this form so we are going to copy this form go to this course detail ui so in the course detail ui what we are going to do okay so in the course detail component ui what we are going to do is after we show the ratings and the existing ratings which is looped here what we are going to do we are going to pull up this component okay so this component when you pull up it says it's not there which means basically you have to come to this component all the way through the input where is the input here we need to bring the app review actually it is review component review form component see this error went now here is the important thing that you need to learn okay there are two inputs which is user id and course id so any input that you need to pass that will become a square bracket which means it's a property binding so course id which is present there we need to pass the course id so the course id is present here in the course detail dot course id great similarly in order to pass the user id we will pass user id which is present in this component okay so we have passing the input to this component by making a square bracket that is nothing but called property binding so we bind these two good now what happens we got the course id here and we got the user id here so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to this review form and then here in the display right just for sake of displaying what we will do we will display the course id here okay all right so what we will do we will go to any of this course and let's take this one we are going here and you see this submit your review and then followed by 26 26 is the course id which is taken from here on this component and which is passed into this small component like the child component so you got the 26 here right so which means input is working now the idea here is when you fill up this form and do a submit the child needs to send back some information to the parent component which is nothing but whatever is typed here because the data is here right so we will send back the data back to the parent component and the parent component will make an api call to submit a review so how do you do that so it's simple so let's go to form which is the review form and in review form what we will do we have two inputs now in order to send from child to the parent which is called event okay so we need to trigger an event and send the information so for that you need to decorate with output followed by something like a variable name so we will say review submitted which is equal to new 
ஈவெண்ட் எமிட்டர் தட் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஈவெண்ட் எமிட்டர் ஈவெண்ட் ஈவெண்ட் எமிட்டர் of a particular type in this case i wanted to send user review model okay and then we close this that's it so we we are saying whenever it is going to trigger it is going to send this information so where this is going to send information is here is the thing so in the so what we will do let's go to on submit and see whether the form is valid first if the form is valid we will first format the required model here so let's format this you see this if the form is valid we are going to create a variable of this type we assign all of these values okay whatever value is coming course id user id rating comments that is taken from the uh, the reactive form and the review date is current date everything is done next the thing is the important thing after you do you all you do is this dot review submitted dot emit you need to emit the data and here the data is of this format okay so you can emit only of whatever format you have see you see this you can emit only this or undefined you cannot emit like this it will start showing you error because this thing is not what was emitted right whatever you define that you are going to emit here that is what you can send it so now we are emitting it okay after you emit the information we can reset the form like this so form dot reset we are setting a null and comment as empty now we have emitted it right now the parent component need to receive it how the parent component will receive it it's again a simple step all what you have to do is you need to go to the html variable we have defined this component right so till here it is called input property binding now event binding means you need to always open the parenthesis right for click event you will do like this right similarly in our case the event binding name is review submitted look at this review what is that look at this our event binding name is review submitted so we will say parenthesis review submitted and then we are going to call a method okay so equal to we will call a method called on review submitted okay do i have a on review submitted method no we are going to define it so what we will do in the on review submit method let's go inside this component all the way through down we will create a method called on review submitted where the input is use the review model because that is what was emitted once you have this we are going to call the review service submit review pass this information and done and then once you are done successfully call this method again this will repopulate the course detail which means the review that you submitted will be retrieved from this api call and it will be automatically populated okay now let's take a look at the demo so i'm going to pick up a different course go inside there is no review right now let's remove this so it's refreshing let's go here everything looks good i'm going to submit and review submit you see this it was submitted it came back and it got populated and it is also displaying my name so this information is coming from the course detail as long as uh, we submit it will be able to recall it and get the latest data so let's summarize we were able to understand how input and output works which is the communication between a parent and the child component the parent can pass input to the child child can then return an event back to the parent on what happened and what we can do further okay so this is also one of the important concepts this is uh, i wanted to show you this in the existing uh, application that we were developing so i hope you understand this video and um, if you like this video do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions let me know in the comment section give me a thumbs up and i will see you in the next important video bye bye thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding